episode three, and I am UFO Jane. Thank you so much for joining me for this video where I am going to talk about aliens. So, I mean, aliens and UFOs, I talk about that all the time, so what's new? Well, I want to talk about my favorite aliens. So my th three favorite aliens that maybe are real. So with the news right now, we've got life on Venus, life on Mars, off-world vehicles recovered by the government, President Trump talking about Roswell being interesting. Everybody's wondering, it's disclosure here, are we going to see the bodies? Are we going to see the aliens? Now, I don't know if the New York Times is going to release any videos of aliens soon or if um, ETs will give a press conference, but if aliens are real and are visiting, then certainly some of the photos and videos that have surfaced over the years and even been debunked must be real. So let's take a look at my three favorite aliens. Hey, before we get into it, please remember, if you enjoy these videos, to like, to subscribe, to turn on the notifications. Number three, the aliens from UFO abduction, aka the McPherson tapes or the McPherson tape, or I'm not really sure. And nobody really is. That's because there are at least two versions of UFO abduction. The original leaked uncredited VHS tape, which according to imdb.com, was widely circulated in video stores and among ufologists as real found footage. By the way, I've actually heard from people who saw this video on the local news. Think War of the Worlds type situation. And then there's the edited credited VHS tape. So think like the original found footage movie. So this was 1989 when it was officially released more than 10 years before the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> I'm so scared. So the plot goes like this. A family is celebrating a birthday party in a cabin out in the woods. You can tell it's already not looking good for this family. A spaceship, uh, your classic looking circular disc lands nearby gray aliens or classic looking short gray humanoids with long spacesuits on exit and actually try to come into the family's home. I'm so scared. So I remember watching it back in the day on YouTube. It was super captivating. Good luck finding it today. Since then, the writer and director Dean Eliotto has come forward and he's even done a remake called Incident in Lake County. Now that is about a family called the McPhersons, which is why the original VHS tape is sometimes called the McPherson tapes, although it follows a different family. Now, I interviewed Dean Eliotto, as well as one of the stars of the original UFO abduction VHS. All I can say is I may have come away with that interview with even more questions than before. So I invite you to check that out and let me know what you think. I'll leave you with this, a comment that was written to me that I'm paraphrasing a little bit. I have seen the real original and can confirm with no doubt at all that there has been a cover-up performed to hide the original. There are a total of three videos. Two videos were made to cover up the original video. I have not been able to find the original, which I saw in the early 90s, despite spending many months searching. Number two, the Amoco alien. So in 1988, Amoco, which you may know of a as an oil company, but it also is or was a technology company, ran an ad in Aviation Week featuring a photograph of an alien. A really amazing photograph, kind of looks like your typical gray with a heart-shaped skull though, big black eyes, four fingers. If you look at the photo up close, you can kind of see some hairs on the body and just a really, a lot of really cool detail. So this photo, um, great ad, certainly would have caught attention, um, but it was also circulated among ufologists and others as being a real photograph. So it kind of reminds me of the UFO abduction VHS tape. 
Now, people did look into it. They were curious as to who took this photograph, how it was made, and what makes things a little weird is that there were multiple explanations given. At one point, an Amico employee said it was a photograph taken of a nine-foot bronze statue, then of a 12-foot bronze statue. Um, an artist named Blaine Bosco was given credit for the photograph. And I think finally, the explanation was given that it was the, a photograph of a 10-inch model. So all over the place, why all the different explanations? Why all the mystery? According to Donald Ware, former U.S. Air Force member, one NASA employee who received a copy of the photo in the mail said he thinks it is a photo of an alien taken by another alien with the camera provided by a NASA source. This ad was repeated in Aviation Week and other aerospace magazines, some in even larger format. While I was in the Air Force, we knew this as Aviation Leak magazine because much information, when declassified, reached the public through its pages without being released at a press conference. This ensured responsible and accurate reporting. Hmm. So could this advertisement actually be a photograph of a real alien and part of some soft disclosure plan? Remember, this is an ad for a technology company. The, on the back of the ad, it says technology so advanced, it will help answer some big questions. So this could be a part of disclosure and also a way to say, hey, we've got top secret tech. You want to buy something from us. Now to make matters even more mysterious, Amoco, the company, it's an oil company. And it, today, the parent company is BP Oil but it was founded by John D. Rockefeller. Now the Rockefellers come up a lot in UFO conspiracy theory talk, but even if you set all that aside, did you know that the son of John D. Rockefeller, Lawrence Rockefeller, is a UFO disclosure advocate? So maybe it makes sense that Amoco, his father's company, would participate in soft Disclosure. According to Wikipedia, in later life, Rockefeller became interested in UFOs. They asked for all UFO information held by the government, including from the CIA and the U.S. Air Force, to be declassified and released to the public. Hmm. Number one, Skinny Bob. In 2011, four videos were uploaded to YouTube showing a UFO as well as a great alien with the black spacesuit, I presume, or Earth suit, up close, as well as other aliens walking behind it. According to the YouTube channel, Ivan0135, the footage was taken between 1942 to 1962. And in 1942, a series of diplomatic visits to discuss matters of mutual concern were planned. And there was a treaty put in place to make all of that secret. In 1961, when the arrival of the Greys, I presume, um, was being filmed without them knowing, that treaty was changed. Um, also, according to Ivan0135, there is more footage. These videos are just sample edited fragments. Video of Skinny Bob has been debunked per se by some who, who say that there's evidence that the video has been edited or tampered with. And what's interesting about that is Lou Elizondo, military insider who's helped to disclose the Navy pilot videos and maybe future ones, has also said that um, videos are, are edited. So this is to protect things like national security, witness anonymity, and things like that. A lot of time has passed since Skinny Bob has become a YouTube hit. So my friends and fellow researchers, Joe and Emmett Hayes, actually did an investigation for the Travel Channel, and they talked to Rick Doty, who, um, well, is a former disinformant agent. Uh, some people believe current disinformant agent. So here's a clip from my interview with Joe and Emmett where we talk about um, what they find, found out in that investigation. Um, are you guys able to share about what you learned it, during the in the Travel Channel special with Rick Rick yeah. Doty? Could you share a bit about that? Because I think that's really important. Yeah. Um, Go ahead, Joe. Rick Doty, he 
and when I showed him the the vi the video and the picture of Skinny Bob, he's all that's exactly what they look like. Wow, like totally straight face. And and it was can I can I add in not that I haven't talked about, but it was like a breath stopping kind of moment. Oh, okay. Not to be too dramatic, but For because me. he looked at just just this just very certain look of that's what they look like. Very one hundred percent. That's what they look like. Just very clear as day. Um, so he also explained to us too that actually I think the most incredible thing he said was it's what I can't share with you. Yeah, uh, that's incredible. So there you have it, my three favorite aliens. Do you think they're real? Will we ever know if aliens are real considering it's a classified topic? As always guys, let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like these videos, please like and subscribe and turn your notifications on. I said there was probably like around seven, five or six species okay. that I was looking up that they're, they're just different sizes, but they kind of, they look the same. Kind of like a dog, it's just a different breed of dog. I just don't know about the, eight, the lizards though. I just know how I feel about them. Or shapeshifters. No. Well, here's the thing: if they're shapeshifters, though, we really would never know.